is going to mess people up. But we're going to be getting into this next game right here. So we got a Cornelia. Ooh, man. This takes me back. <laughs> this takes me way back. Uh, and we're getting all the spacey dittos going on here. I can appreciate the double fox here in particular. And you'll notice that they're not going to be shifting over to the right-hand side because of that wall. They're going to be that real wall, scared man. of that, man. <laughs> and all of these characters, uh, Falco, Fox, and playing on the same stage as where they're from, Star Fox 64 and just the original Star Fox for the SNES. Unbelievable, man. Oh, this is the classic. Reads, man. I want, I want to see the taunt at some point. Someone just hides out in the bottom right, and they kick in the taunt, and we're gonna get Slippy and the rest of these guys blowing past. I can't oh, wait to right, see the that. Easter egg. Oh, yeah, dude, dude. That's so funny. Oh, gee, dude, that was so much fun. <laughs> I mean, well, surprisingly, both of these guys are. You'll see that they're staying right away from that ledge. Oh, sorry, sorry, they're staying way away from the wall. And as soon as they get there, people start to get a little bit shaky. Like, please let me bail out. Please let me bail out. <laughs> oh gosh, but I mean. We've been, we're seeing some uncharacteristic picks. I mean, of course, the moon, known for that fantastic Marth and whatnot. Yes, we yes. treated to the fox here? Hey, but the man has a beautiful fox. I've seen it in play too many times. I mean, remember, he's always he's been playing with hacks, no doubt, mm. back then. And uh, the man has to play the fox matchup, especially if he's going against Falco. Oh, for sure. Ooh. So, I mean, we've got all, we've got <laughs> Team Blue looking like they're ex about to exit stage right, but quickly on the retort, adding in that percent. Oh, my God. This man is in the corner, and he's getting blasted by the up smash. Oh, but Falco coming back. <laughs> Auto cancel backers. This is just an absolute it's, it's just it's bonkers, slobber man, knocker. Too. Everything, there's too many things happening in that corner, man. I love seeing these like crazy slobber knockers just for the fact that you just don't know when that body is about to drop or that up smash is going to come out of nowhere. I've been casting too much rivals. Up strong was about to come out hey, of my okay. hey, hey, don't even worry about it, man. <laughs> hey, you know, put that in there, man. The metaphors are real. <laughs> Dude, I, I can't tell you like how awesome it is to be able to just go back and see like Fox play because this was like my childhood for a long time. There's Fox Dittos everywhere on Corneria back before we knew any better. Uh, just because everybody loved doing dumb things and just having everyone explode with up smash, throwing everybody into the lasers. Oh man, that was so much fun. So oh, we're taking that double team. Now, the thing that's important to note is when they're doing those double team combos, right? Yeah. As soon as you get somebody off stage, it's that moment where they flick in, like they switch into that mode of, oh, sandwich mode. Yeah, exactly. Let me get that 2v1. Yeah, they're going to be looking for to execute the, the stock as soon as possible. Once he sees that opponent off stage, his partner's going to help him in the process. So, I mean, can we talk a little bit about, like, so granted, we're getting down to the last stocks here, and it, it's going to be looking like OC Mike is going to try to hold on. Oh, no. no. Coming a little short. That's okay. But now we got Team Blue here, 2v1 yeah, got... on Tempo. That's right. Tempo, uh, this man's Falco is nasty. I'm not even going to lie to you. This man is actually from Gainesville, if I'm correct. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But let's see what he's going to do here. Back into the corner, and it looks like he's going to stay there. What do you think, Dancing? I'm not sure if he's making the right choice. I mean, the thing is, is that once you get into these 2v1 scenarios, okay, all right, come on, man, there you go. Uh, <laughs> once you get into like these 2v1 scenarios, your your entire mindset is like, let me choose to take the little risk, high reward options, right? So you're gonna be looking for everything that can potentially auto cancel, and even there with a the long getup after you get past 100. percent you are asking to get down smash and finish off there. I actually got really excited. I thought Tempo was going to seal that stock. <laughs> but uh, instead, he gets down smash. And pretty sure uh, DJ sealed that stock there. So, oh, man. I mean, you, you see a lot of these team comps where it's like, you see Double Fox, you see the Fox Falco. I mean, what is your preference? Like, when you look at some of these teams, like, between these two, like, what do you feel like Falco adds to that composition? Like, you personally. Because you get the lasers, right? You get the shine. You get a bit of verticality here. And you get the kill potential, right? Um, now with Double Fox, you get something different, right? You get Double yeah. Shines, you get be potentially better recovery if you're having uh, good DI and your sustain is really well. Um, I don't know, what is your preference between these two team comps, dude? Okay, so overall with the uh, Fox Fox or the Falco Fox? Yeah, what do you prefer, Fox Fox or Fox Falco? I'm looking at, well, depending on the stage they pick overall, but Falco will usually save Fox's life with the lasers, you know, gives him that recovery back whenever he's, his partner's all the way on the other side, he's getting edge guard. But at the same time, I just feel like Fox Fox is overall like one of the most viable teams. Um, he can get a lot of setups with his up airs and such, and he can get like some nice solid aerials. He gets some nice combo sandwiches there and such. But uh, that's just my opinion. I appreciate it. Like, <laughs> oh, the taunts are coming out. Here we go. Yeah, let's let it rock. We'll just throw as many of those out as we can. 
It's for the kids. It's for the kids. <laughs> I, I, we have to say that, man. That's, that's going to be said in the stream too many times. It's such a good catchphrase. <laughs> we can get away with anything now. It's for the kids. <laughs> Oh, oh no, that forward smash. A little bit of friendly fire. Oh, oh the no. side B clipping him. <laughs> Lights this man up. Great side B to finish him off. It, you know, those things, those moments of like, man, you just punch yourself. You're thinking to yourself, how oh, did I even bother going out to edge guard this man? But I could have just simply stayed at ledge, probably just done full hop there, or maybe just even waited and see where he's going to land and then potentially follow up. You're fast. You're super fast. You have these awesome uh, options available to you more than anybody else in this class. Let it rock. You see me, man. These cars are always incoming. Like, that's one of the things, too. Like, the cars, whenever they, they hit the opponent and they're in hit stun, that gives them opportunities to get some nice executions there. Maybe even, like, a re-grab. And from there on, they get to uh, execute with, like, a nice move. I feel like the fun thing to talk about, I mean, particularly considering the venue, considering the event, like, these stages are... It's just so wacky, man. It's awesome. It's crazy. Like, of course, it's terrible for, like, like if we were actually going to compete, but... For a fun event, this is awesome. Yeah. Like, we're throwing these cars around. You don't know what you're going to get. This is like, who is the most OG and who has played these jank and grew up playing this right. jank? It's so much fun. And that's the other thing about this is, like, as soon as you get to this part of the stage, you get, like, the weird traction thing that happens on the outside. Like, footsies don't even happen. It's extremely work. slippery. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Up here, there. He's gonna be and already, to tempo's out. Yeah, this is this is definitely tough for, for Team Green. Um, but, you know, let's see what he can do. Let's see what OC Mike's going to bring to the table. He's got some fight in him. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I want to see combos. Okay, shine. That's a shine. Him. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. You have a chance here, my friend. All right, so the Moon and DJ on their last stock here. But let's see if uh, OC Mike can close it. OC Mike looks like he has these moments where he's like, I kind of want to just jump cancel grab as soon as he's dashing in. But he'll instead kind of change up his mindset and go for those drop in dares. See, this is the scary part, is that as soon as he's jumping in with uh, with Nair, if he's full hop Nairing on top of him, they're just potentially going to crouch cancel all those lower percentages and grab him, and then he explodes. Like that. Oh, that's going to be it. That's so... So, so many things happening, man. Like, <laughs> Mute City, a great song they play on the stage, and oh, it's too many things, man. You know, it's all, I, I always say that singles is already like a, a big burden like to cast because there's so many cool things that are happening, so many different uh, you know layers and layers upon reads and mechanics and whatnot. Now let's double that in, in oh, this. Wow. It's I think doubles is by far like some of the most fun and where you see interesting characters open up, gimmicks open up, things that you don't necessarily see. And granted, of course, in the context, it's a lot more fun too. Yeah. Uh, but man. There's something always about Fox just watching this man absolutely destroy people that always feels satisfying. Yeah, that's right, Nep2. Uh, I actually wanted to ask you a couple questions. So uh, tell me about your scene. Tell oh, me about your region. Yes. So to give you guys an idea, um, T-Lock in Dallas runs...